Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. I saw the magic circle tutorial from Celsius for Clip Studio Paint. It was very short, I think about 20 or 30 seconds. Something like this, link to it in the description below. Um, but I tried it myself and I had some difficulties and I want to show you my tips and tricks so you might have less difficulties with it. Um, first of all, you need Clip Studio Paint EX version, so you have access to all rulers. I don't think in the debut version that you have the symmetrical ruler. So first, I want to increase the number of the lines. I already created a new layer, so the ruler will apply to it. So now, as you can see, we have a symmetrical ruler. And everything I do gets now 10 copies because we have 10 lines. So if you do 12 lines, you would get 12 of these thingies. Um, to get a nice circle on it, you often have the problem that it gets dragged from, from the corner, basically. And to avoid that, you click on the little wrench down here and then you can go to shape operation and now you click on the empty square here. So now we have quick access to start from center over here. It's a really useful function. So if I drag now a circle from the center here, it gets, um, it creates from the center. And if you have a, a this kind of funny um, figures, it's because you need to um, set the relationship of the aspect. So you need to set a aspect ratio, basically. So now it should be circle, which is never elliptic. Because if you don't have that function enabled and you don't have equal numbers, it won't be um, very circular. But if I drag now a circle, it's from the center and yeah, it's very good. If you don't have it and I drag a circle now from the center, as you can see, that kind of effect happened now. So, oh, I have to press one more because there's this option adjusts the angle after fix, so you have to press twice because if you uh, draw an ellipse, you could normally now change the, 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 the angle, but since it's a perfect circle, there's no angle to be changed. So you have to click twice or else you have that kind of weird uh, movement on the, lay, uh, on the canvas. So let me remove that. So you don't need that function for a perfect circle if you have equal aspect types. Because if you don't have, and I drag it now, if I now um, yeah, press the button, uh, 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 don't hold it down, I can now adjust the angle of it. Okay, then to the next three angles, um, I like to do them with a kind of linear ruler. And to do this, I actually like to see the center of this ruler, even if I'm on this layer. So basically click, right click on that symbol. So it means there is a ruler in here on that layer. And now enable show in all layers. And if you do that, you can see, even if I activate another layer, you can still see the symmetrical ruler. But be cautious, if you now add a linear ruler, for example, I will do it quick. The symmetrical ruler will also apply on this layer because you can still see it. So every ruler you can see on, on that layer will apply as well. So if I drag now line. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I need to use uh, this, this tool. The symmetrical ruler will still apply and you get funny effects. Um, and if you don't want to do that, and you was just want to use it as guide, 
um, you have to disable it. So now I use this one as reference point to get a nice, um, nice um, triangle. I've also activated snap step of angle to 60. And hopefully I get the nice triangle. Yeah, this looks good. It even attaches here. It's not very perfect, but it don't has to be far for this kind of tutorial. So, but I will still show you it with the symmetrical ruler because I have another tip for the razor. So if I draw this like here and you want to achieve that kind of effect, and now you want to erase maybe these lines. Normally you have the problem that um, if you use it, as you can see, only that line will get erased. But since you have a, a symmetric ruler, you can do it much faster. So let me undo it. Click on the little wrench down here. And then you go to correction. Then I click on this little square and so I'm able to see able to snap over here and if you activate that function if I erase that line now here as you can see the symmetrical ruler will also apply and remove all the other lines and if you just want to draw that one square without all the others what you have to do let me remove them you have to activate show only one editing target so you only see that one layer and now it will only draw that certain triangle okay it doesn't always react I don't know why oh no it does so now we have the triangle, yes, and another tip I can show you is that you can also enable um, a kind of unit scale for every ruler you do. So I click on this one and with the object tool, it's, it's over the, this tool, yeah, I see it, um, then you can down, go down here and check scale. And now that is the scale on pixels and we can change it to millimeters so that line would have length of let me zoom in 111.8 millimeters roundabout that's a quite nice function as well so i hope this helps and have fun drawing okay goodbye